Hello everyone, welcome again to Misiane Online Mathematics and again we have a question here from uh, the from uh, Satos, the question of a circle. Here, the question says, the equation of a circle is given by this equation here, x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 2y minus 4 is equal 0 and it's asking us to determine the radius and the center of the circle. Uh, please feel free to pause the video and try to solve the question. And it's almost similar from the previous uh, question we, we, we have been doing. And uh, now it's now asking, the difference is now they are asking us to find the, 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 the radius and the center of the circle. Now, I'll remind you again one thing here from the equation of the circle given by, the equation of the circle is given by x minus a and uh, plus uh, that is y y plus uh, minus p uh, equals to uh, squared everything is squared here and then uh, the thing we do here is a and b a comma b this gives you the radius the, the center sorry the center of the circle r is the radius of the circle. Now from here we already almost know everything. Now we'll deal with this question here and try to solve and see whether we can be able to write this equation in this form so that we can figure out A and B and R direct from here. We have this equation x squared minus plus 4x minus y squared minus or plus y squared minus 2y minus 4 equals 0. So we will consider first of all if you look at this the value of x and the part for y here we will use what we call completing square method. So first of all, before we do that, we'll take 4 to the other side and it becomes my plus 4 or positive 4 on the other side. So this will be equal to x squared minus 4x and plus 4x uh, plus y squared minus 2y equals 4. So we can complete square method for each part here on the right hand side and the left hand side of this equation. So we'll consider to complete the square method, we will multiply the coefficient of this, a half of the coefficient of x term here, pi, a half it, of it, then we square that we add here, then take a half of this term here, then we square it, we add here, then everything, whatever we add on the right hand side, we'll add it on the left hand side too. So, let's see what we get. x squared plus 4x half of 4 is 2, so we add plus 2 squared here. Then we continue plus y squared minus 2y half of 2 minus 2 that is minus 1 minus 1 squared here it will give you this is what uh, plus 1 then uh, since we have added 4 and 1 on the right side on the left side so on the right side we have 4, we will also add 4 plus 1 here. So let's see what we have here. We have this equation here and we have this. So we can uh, 
we can go ahead and uh, look for two numbers here this is now four squared is uh, two squared is four so this is x x squared plus four x plus four and the other side here is y squared minus two y plus one equals to the total here is nine so from me already you can see this this will give us the radius our radius but is squared so we find the square root of this one so from here we can just already say that our r r squared equals to nine then our r will be equal to the square root that's plus or minus three so our radius can be uh, the, the radius is just three here since we are not we we, we, we are just considering the positive uh, part only for that uh, next let's see here so that we can be able to find the a and the b we look for two terms here when we add we get four when we times we get four so that is 2 and 2. So we can have x squared minus 2 plus 2x plus 2x minus uh, plus 4, like that. And then uh, plus, again, y here, let's get two terms. When you times, you get 1. But when you add them, you get uh, minus 2, minus 2. So that is probably minus 1 times minus 1. So we'll have y squared minus y minus y plus 1. So let's fact out here. We'll get this x into, uh, we can fact out this two x into, uh, x plus 2 actually that's x plus uh, 2 squared then the other one will be plus y minus 1 squared equals 9 so from here we can see that uh, x already uh, the, the a is 2 so our a equals 2 from the equation here and our y uh, our y minus 1 b is here b will be minus 1 but we need now to consider the signs here the equation of a circle is given by x minus a and minus a into bracket squared plus y minus b into bracket squared so there is a minus here so we will take a times minus here so the final part here for the center the center of that circle will be a times minus one um, will be minus two which is two my times minus one so that you can uh, consider the sign here then we have minus one here already minus times minus will be comma my positive one so the center of the circle will be minus two comma one while the radius will be the radius we already found here is three so thank you for watching may you share this kind of video see you next time